on. Maybe I did get that shark. I have to see. Huh. That was a good size. Want them? Yeah, absolutely. Lane. Hello everybody, welcome to today's Catch and Cook. Uh, today we're going to do a Louisiana style po' boy. Well, it's not going to be anything like a Louisiana style po' boy, so we're going to call it a QS po' boy slider. And we're going to start with one of these lane snappers we caught. This is a nice little fat 15 incher. I'm going to go ahead and flay this guy out and we'll get started. Ah, so before we get started, I got this nice little piece of uh, cereal mackerel that I stole a chunk off of one of the fish. So we're going to go ahead and clean this guy out real quick. I don't think I could skin it. Get rid of some of this little bloodline. All right, let's make the food freaks happy early. So I got my cereal mackerel chunks, a little wasabi, a little soy sauce. Mm. Nice and fresh. Super light, super tasty. Definitely, if you've never done sashimi and you're hesitant about it and you're worried about fishy taste, cereal macro is the way to go. Super light tasting. A little pickled ginger. A lot of wasabi, clear out the senses. Mm. 
All right. All right. Let's get to some cleaning. All right, we're gonna get some flays off this guy, so let's cut him up. Here's a quick look at our ingredients list before we get started. I've got basically three different sets of components uh, for my side dish. I've got these sweet potatoes that I'm going to do fries with. And then I did one sweet potatoes where I've just got them foil wrapped and uh, cut in half foil wrapped. And I've got uh, butter and brown sugar in these packets. So that's kind of going to be my sides. For the actual uh, sandwich I'm going to be using these King's Hawaiian sweet rolls get a little bit of a tang difference to it uh, I'm going to top it with some tomatoes and then I'm going to make a tartar sauce coleslaw as the salad topping and uh, I'm going to use some coleslaw mix and uh, for the tartar sauce it's going to basically be uh, mayonnaise mustard relish lemon juice some garlic, salt and pepper, and just mixed up to the consistency that I like. And for the fish, I'm gonna go with panko style and get uh, the fish fillets all crisped up that way. So let's get putting together. Making uh, tartar sauce is actually really easy and uh, we'll just throw some together here real quick. Main ingredient is just gonna be some mayonnaise. And remember, the big key thing is that you're working with all wet ingredients, so you don't want to add any extra fluids. That probably will be too much. We're not going to do a huge batch. So mayonnaise. I'm going to use some mustard. I'm using some deli style, but you could use regular mustard. However much you like. Important is the uh, relish. I like a lot of relish in mine. Some lemon juice. Let's give it a little bit of zing. And you don't have to, but I like a little garlic in mine. A little bit of salt. I like lots of pepper. And then you're just going to mix it up. And that's it, our uh, tartar sauce. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the freezer and really chill it down and that'll thicken it up as well. All right, I've got the sweet potatoes that I uh, sliced up there. We'll get those started go first. Yeah, a little hot. Let those sizzle away, and these are the uh, sweet potatoes with the butter and the brown sugar. All right, let's get these fish fried up so we can make our sandwiches.
they're already browning up, so it's going to cook really fast here, so got to keep an eye on it. All right, let's take these guys off of here. All right, we've got all the ingredients all completed and ready to assemble. Uh, the, with the po' boys, I'm gonna be using these King's Hawaiian style rolls. They originated in Hawaii, but they're basically a, a real fluffy, light, slightly sweetened style bread roll. And with that, I've got the Lane Snapper that I panko fried. Uh, I'll be adding some sliced tomatoes and then I've got some coleslaw raw set up that I'm going to mix on with some tartar sauce to make kind of like a salad topping. And then for other sides I've got the sweet potatoes that I fried up into fries. I also have uh, sweet potatoes I just cut in half and uh, foil wrap them with butter and brown sugar. And for the uh, the sweet potato french fries, I went ahead and made a ketchup, not really going to be using a tomato base. So this is brown sugar and molasses and butter. So I'm going to use this as my ketchup. And I went and picked a couple of coconuts for washing it down. So now let me just put it all together and you can check it out. All right, let's go ahead and assemble a couple of these. I'm going to go with the big one there. Uh, that'll fit perfectly there. And I'm going to go some tomatoes. And I'm going to go, I was going to mix these, but I'll, I will leave it as is. There's our tartar sauce. A little bit of sliced cabbage. All right. That'll make up for the sandwiches. A few of the sweet potato chips, our brown sugar, molasses, butter ketchup have a couple of tomato slices and then one of the sweet potatoes all righty well, let's take a look so there you go what do you think that would be lunch. Let's give it a try. All right, let's give this a try. Uh, cleanse my palate a little bit. Oh, this is going to be the beefier one. Uh, that is what our poor boy looks like there. Mmm. Nice and crispy. Holy crap. Man, that's good. Mm. Another one where everything goes together so well. Uh, of course, got to have our fries. Mm, great. Mm. 
I was worried that was going to be overly sweet, but it's not. They still can uh, taste the sweet potatoes really easily. Mmm. This is exceptional. Mmm, mm, head on, perfect. So, anyways, I hope you guys like that. Lane Snapper Po' Boy Key West style. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye.